Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to part 4 of the Shogun 2 legendary campaign with the Mori clan. So, in the previous episode, we had the Kikawa declare war on us, we had our stronghold built at Aki, we had our trading uh, port built, and we now have a trading ship going to the north to get us that extra income. Plus, we have lots of things that we can do with diplomacy, we've got a lot more clans that we have discovered. But before all of that, we have a battle on our hands. We will finally take Iwami with our Daimyo and Mori Takamoto, which failed in the first attempt. So we're going to fight this battle, and we are going to go for a night attack. So let's do this shit. I shall see you on the battlefield. Hey guys, welcome back to the battlefield. We're going to start deployment straight away. We're going to skip the speeches, and we know that they don't have any kind of uh, missile capabilities that we know of. So let's just charge forward with everything. And I do believe it's just the Yari Ashigaru plus the uh, the retainers, which they have. I don't think they have anything else, so we should be okay to just go forward. I'm just going to fast forward this. It's going to be a straightforward battle, which can probably be won with our bows on their own. Let's actually do that with our bows. Let's get the one to go for the other ones. Let's bring our other ones forward. It can be pretty um, aggressive with my bows. Let's bring them all forward. They can all go for the Yari Ashigaru. Get some into the position. And we can rain holy hell down on our enemies. That is our plan for this battle. Let's get them forward a bit more. A bit more, please. A bit more. Get them in range. Get them in range. A bit further. That should be fine. Play at normal speed and start attacking them. Fire in the dark. Fire in the dark. There we go. Arrows are going to fly in, and we're going to get kills on the enemy, and they're down to 146. Some more volleys. Fire in the hole, down to 140, 137, 36, 129, that's perfect. A few volleys, this is what I'm saying. In part two, we had a battle like this where we were using uh, bows, and I was showing you how you can kind of deploy along the side and fire upon the archers. When there's no archers, it's much easier. But also, having two bows rather than one really increases the kill damage. And as you can see, we're only about a minute into this battle and we got them down to 120. It took us ages to get the bows down to, um, from, from 120 to 100, to, well, to, to 299. It, it, took, it took us ages. So the fact that we're able to do this like this right now just shows you how effective the bows can actually be in a battle like this. If I do an actual attack order, though, that will actually have them focus upon them. They should get a lot more kills. And we can just do this all, all battle, basically. Just attack them like we are. Of course, you want to move them when they are moving because you want them to set because they will miss volleys otherwise. And you can do this all battle, basically. Just get them to march around. As a matter of fact, we're going to put the one bow unit on this side of the field. You also just want to cover as much ground as you can with the bows. Put one there and one there. So whenever they do march across, they will be, of course, in range of your fire. Your fire in range. Just actually get all of these... Uh, grouped up and get them all along here Just playing this in triple speed at the moment just to kind of demonstrate what we can do with the bows We're just going to aim the one against the samurai retainers over there We're going to get some kills for us and this one should be getting kills for us against those Yari Ashigaru Which we are doing There we go got less than a hundred Yari Ashigaru down from 150 and we're not even halfway with our with our uh, replenishment of our uh, bows yet, so we're looking pretty good as things currently stand. We're going to do an attack order on the retainers though. Edge a bit closer to them, maybe getting a volley or two. Not quite in range. Now they're in range and we're going to get a few more volleys on them. They're going to set there, they're going to get some more volleys in. 37, 36. More volleys please. 32, that's good. Doing this because I don't want to take losses. It's a bit boring, I know. But it's a necessary evil if you want to do well on Legendary Difficulty in Shogun 2. Because you want to get as many kills as you can. And by doing that, you don't want to take many losses. So, by doing it, you mean it means that a follow-up battle... If you notice between Part 2 and Part 3, I had that horrible siege battle which I lost with the General. I was quickly able to get those two um, Yari Ashigaru units towards him. But what that allowed was that when they had the follow-up battle, when they charged out their settlement... And attacked me I was able to take them out pretty easily because I hadn't taken many losses and that's kind of what how it uh, it works basically like I'm in a position now where I can just march in with my army and take this settlement 
which I will be doing once I use up all my uh, ammunition. As a matter of fact, though, let's actually get um, our three Yaris grouped up. We're going to put them in front here. I'm going to go around the back with this one and our two cav units as we still attack the uh, samurai retainers and I'm going to actually issue a climb order with all of these there we go lovely get them all up there just get them all up there quickly I'm just doing this in triple speed because why the hell not attack Perfect. Let's go to act normal speed now. And let's actually uh, take this. So we can get our general in there quickly. Just going to constantly attack them. My bow is still in range. Still going to get a few kills, hopefully. That wasn't the best of volleys. But it does not matter. Because we're going to minimize our losses by doing it this way. We are going to lose. Probably going to lose more men to the walls. Falling off the walls and actually to the... Our remaining men, although our our men are just going to completely surround them. We've got more men ferrying out their way up there. Not going to be enough left over for me, generals, to get any kills on them. Let's just fast forward it a bit more. There we go. Just going to evaporate and be gone with. Down to three, down to one. Normal speed. There he is, look. Attack! Kill him! Kill him! Look at the blood. I love night battles. Just looks so cool. Oh, he's gone. In the back. Victory. Victory to the Mori. The mighty Mori. Oh, hell yeah. You know it's true. Decisive. End battle. So there we go. We've finally taken Iwami. And we have our second province uh, of the campaign. So we have two settlements now. All is good. All is good in the hood. So we lost 96. That's what I'm saying. Minimize our losses. And we're going to peacefully uh, occupy. Mission successful. So we got call to arm. So we've got a plus one recruitment slot across all of our provinces. Now, they do have a army on the way with a, with a general. Probably got a daimyo next to him. So they're going to be sending everything to me by the looks of things. Now, we are replenishing, which is good. We can't recruit anything here. And we can't build anything of yet. But we do have a fort. So we'll get one samurai retainer when they do atta eventually attack me. Plus we've got those bows and plus we haven't taken many losses. So I think the money we do want to use up is going to be at Aki. Although we are uh, re uh, recruiting some units here because the Kikawa are going to be counter-attacking us soon. And we don't want to be fighting two battles at the same time. That's going to be a nightmare to kind of navigate. Because we don't want to lose any of these settlements. The good thing is Aki's got that stronghold. We've got a, uh, a Yari Ashigaru unit which is going to help us out. Plus we've got... Uh, three units plus three more on the way next turn. So as long as the Kikawa can't get to me this turn, then I should be okay for the following turn, if you know what I mean. But anyway, that is probably going to be it for this part. I shall see you all in part five, where we will be defending your army most likely, and also defending Aki from the Kikawa. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.